Hello! Welcome to Stephanie Uncensored and welcome to day one of the winter break cram o -thon. Woo! Thank you for joining me and so I woke up this morning and good morning by the way. This one is going to be recorded first thing in the morning because I have so much to do this morning to be prepared um, for the day. I have my coffee this morning. Um, we have to go grocery shopping for the week. Um, we have friends coming over, well family, because my son gets to go see Star Wars tomorrow and then the day after that he has surgery. So we have to get all prepared to ruin his Christmas and um, things like that. And um, so yeah, the purpose, let me go over the purpose of Winter Cramathon. A winter break cramathon again and that is to see how many books we can read within the next 14 days and also to talk about topics loose topics of the day and um just sort of getting to know new booktubers or um maybe getting to know old booktubers that are out there that decided to do this challenge along with me um, so today's topic is my favorite book genre, and my favorite book genre is romance, and I love romance genre, so any type of romance. I'm talking dark romances, light and fluffy romances, college romances, um, you know, crazy different romances, same-sex romances, it really doesn't matter. And, you know, I think that's really cool and different. Um, my obsession with it started out with Fifty Shades of Grey, but then it also changed um, once I read uh, The Consequences series by Alethea Roman and um, that had sort of a Stockholm Syndrome feel to it, but um, then I started reading some, you know, lighter things um, that had YA type feel to them uh, with, you know, kind of teenager things, you know, I mean, it just depends. Romance is so wide. Um, lots of people kind of, you know, shy away from romance. They they pigeonhole it and um think about, you know, oh well there's they either go to the side of there's too much sex in it or they think that, you know, it's all about the love at first sight and they don't want all that sappiness that goes along with it. So yeah. I'm gonna do whatever in this um series of videos. If that's drinking my coffee or drinking my water, whatever, I'm going to do it. Um, I'm a huge Nicholas Sparks fan. His movies, his books, um, everything that he does. I want to say The Notebook. No! A Walk to Remember got me hooked on him. And I loved that book. And I am currently trying to um, finish my collection of hardback books for him. And um, I actually am down to two books left, and his that is his two newest books, which is The Longest Ride, I need a copy of that one, in hardback form, and See Me in hardback form. So, and I already have both of those in ebook. I just need a hardback copy of those. I own the movie, The Longest Ride, and I don't believe the movie See Me has come out. Um, but yeah, then my collection will be complete. Um, I do believe I have all of the movies that are already out. So I'm kind of excited. Um, then I will probably do like a marathon of Nicholas Sparks, if my heart can take it. Um, reading kind of take a two month marathon of Nicholas Sparks and read all of his books together and then do videos or whatever. I don't know. I haven't decided. That may be down the road, but I'm such an emotional reader that I don't think I could take 
a book upon a book upon a book of Nicholas Sparks. I think I would have to do one and then go off and read something else about that. Um, so currently I am reading, um, well, I'm listening to Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Myers, or Stephanie Meyer, sorry. And I am on disc number four, which means that I am in book Jacob, book two, Jacob. So I'm in Jacob's mind right now. And can I just say, um, end of book one for Bella, what a drop off. Uh, I was like, really? You're just gonna leave me like that? But of course, it's all one book. And um, I think at that point, I would have been like, ah! trying to throw my Kindle if I had been reading it but yeah um if you watched any of my other videos or I don't think I've uploaded it yet but my Eclipse video review of this totally oh my goodness this is where Eclipse totally brought me into this series and made me fall in love with Edward and Bella and Jacob if for some reason I had started with Eclipse and only read Eclipse and Breaking Dawn, I probably would have loved, loved, loved this series way more than um, I do, uh, or start out liking. Because I liked it in the beginning, but um, I really did feel like it was a tweeny, sort of fluffy, sort of um, romance kind of book. I did feel the juvenile-ish ness of it because it was set in high school and because they were teenagers and it was very very PG and now we're getting into the juicy stuff um and it's not even like it's juicy where it's explicit it's juicy where there's drama and um there is um mystery and there is some you know just drama I mean come on werewolves vampires yeah I never was into paranormal stuff which brings me back to the topic of genres I when I started picking up books again I was all about romance it had to be romance 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 and I never really dove into paranormal until I read the Life of Anna by Marissa Honeycutt and by book four I was like oh my goodness oh my goodness this is a paranormal book what oh my goodness mind blown mind blown right there need to put oh yes need to pick up some more paranormal books and also Sydney Jameson got me too with the story of us and Adrian and and Beth she got me too with the paranormal I was like what shut the front door this is paranormal what oh my goodness yes the two authors had me going with the very very subtle paranormal sort of not werewolves, not vampires, but definitely paranormal activity going on in them themes and in the storyline that I didn't pick up. And maybe it was my denseness, but um, that's what I like. That Obviously, that's what I like. So, yes, this is about vampires and werewolves and things like that. But those two books, The Life of Anna by Marissa Honeycutt and the story of us or touchstone uh, series by Sydney Jameson you need to go read those if you're about some subtlety when it comes to your paranormal and romance because yeah oh and Marissa's book life of Anna dark and twisted dark and twisted book hangover kept me up at night oh my goodness oh my goodness had me going and then the book that I'm reading on my Kindle is take and that oop, come on 
you just don't want to work for me today. Uh, that's part of, that's book number two in the Temptation series by Ella Frank. And that is a, a same-sex um, erotic, no, uh, erotic romance series that I had on my book TBR for Life the Longest. And it's about Tate and Logan. And I absolutely adore it. Adore it. Um, I was introduced to Logan in the Exquisite series, I want to say maybe a year, year and a half ago. But I wanted to make sure that all of the books were out before I started the series because I am that type of book snob and uh, ebook series reader. I don't mind cliffhangers, but if you're going to give me a cliffhanger, you need to have me with the next book in my hands within like two or three months because I devour books. And if I have to wait for a book, that means that the story better be that poignant that it's going to stick with me or I have to do a reread and then you mess up my goal counts. Because in Goodreads land, rereads don't go towards your goal counts. So, I think I've covered everything. I've been rambling and that is my day <laughs> for day number one um I think I've covered what my favorite genre is what's your favorite genre tell me about it link me below let me see what you guys like um another premise I don't know that I put this in the introduction sort of uh instruction video it's not the Winter Break Cramathon is not about, hey, let's all read the same books. It's not about, hey, let's read the same genre. I want to know what you guys are reading. Maybe what you're reading is completely different than I am, but then maybe something you are reading is something that I might want to read too. So I want to know what you're reading. Please let me know what you guys are reading, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.